For more information regarding the civil engineering concepts, please follow my website civilbasics123.com. So go to Google and type Civil Basics 123. So click on Google search option. So here my website link will be open here. So click on my website link Civil Basics 123.com. So my complete website will be loaded here like this. It will be consisting of detailed concepts regarding the civil engineering concepts. So I will post at least one article per two days. So you can select any one of the article for complete details about this respected civil engineering concepts. Okay, so please follow my website civilbasics123.com. In this video lecture, I will explain you design of RCC column as per IS456-2000 code by using manual method. Okay, so initially I will explain you the basic formulas which are involved in the uh, manual calculation method and key points which is related to the column design. Then after that, I will explain you what are the steps we need to consider as per the column design consideration and what is that uh, design of the column reinforcement values for the 1200 kN load case. Okay, so it will be consisting of all detailed calculation which is related to the uh, column section of 1200 kN. Okay, so don't skip the video. Please watch the video completely so so that you can easily understand the concept. So I will update this respected all the calculation part tomorrow in my website. So please follow my website also civilbasics123.com. Okay, so basically for designing of the column sections, initially we need to consider the three basic formulas. One is related to the E minimum, which is equals to L by 500, 500 plus G by 30. Okay, which is greater than 20 value. So this is the first formula where L is the length of the column and D is the effective depth of the column. Okay, so E minimum value will be should be uh, greater than 20 mm okay as per the consideration okay the second one is related to the uh, pu load okay which is equals to 0 0.45 times of sigma ck plus ac plus uh, 0 0.65 times of sigma y into asc okay so this is the basic formula we need to consider as per the is codal provision of 456 code okay and the next one is related to the ag where ag is the grass area and ac is the concrete area and ac is the steel area so ag equals to AC plus ASC. So this is the three basic formulas we need to consider for column design. Again, we need to consider the key points which is related to the a percentage of main steel will be used as 0.8 to 6 percentage of the grass cross section and minimum of 4 bars will be used for the rectangular cross section column design and 6 bars for the circular column section design. Again, we have to use the transfer reinforcement pitch which is greater than not greater than value of uh, least lateral dimensions and 2D, 3, 16D and 300 mm. The least value will be used as the column design reinforcement section. Again, we have to use the diameter of the bar calculation here like this, which is related to the 0 0.25 times of D and 5 mm diameter. Okay. So these are the basic formulas we need to consider in column design. Now I will explain you what are the different types of the steps we need to consider in column design. So in that first one is calculation of AC by using AC. Okay. So again calculation of dimensions of column with the help of the grass area. And next one is related to the calculation of area of main steel AC value. And again last one is related to the calculation of transverse reinforcement. Okay. So this is the four steps we need to follow in column design calculation. Now I will explain you how to design the column section RCC column for the 1200 kN load with 3.5 meter length and assuming M20 grade concrete and FE415 grade steel. So before going to the designing section initially we need to calculate the factor load. Okay. So here the given load is 1200 kN value. So the factor load will be equals to uh, 1.5 times of 1200 okay which is approximately equal to 1800 kN. So this respected 1800 kN load will be comes under the point loading condition system okay so the step one which is related to the calculation of ac by using ac okay so by assuming the percentage of the steel as one percentage of the grass area so basically we are already assumed thus the grass area will be of 0 0.8 percentage to 6 percentage okay as per the considerations of the key points here okay so from this point we are considering this percentage of the steel is assumed as one percentage of the grass area okay so here ac equals to 1 by 100 into AG. So from this calculation, we can easily get AC equals to 0 0.01 times of AG value. So again, from the AG, this respected equation, we have from the basic formulas, third formula, which is obtained from the designing of your IS456 column section. So the third formula, which is related to the AG equals to AC in plus AC. Okay. So from this formula, we can easily calculate AC equals to AG minus AC. Okay. So here AG value will be kept as constant. Again, in the place of AC, we have to change here to 0 0.01 AG. Okay. Why? Because we are already assumed that the percentage of steel is one percentage of the grass area. So finally, we can easily calculate AC value, which is approximately equal to 0 0.99 times of AG. So this is the first step we need to 
uh, calculate for the column design. Second step, which is related to the calculation of dimensions of the column by using grass area. So here we are already calculated the AG AC value, which is related to 0.99 times of AG value. Okay. So by using this respected calculation, we can easily calculate. So for the calculation of the grass area, we have to use the second formula, which is there in the formulas. Okay. So basic formulas P equals to 0.45 times of FCK plus AC plus 0.65 times 67 times of FY into AC. Okay. So by substituting the values, which is related to the 1800 uh, into 10 cube, which is calculated in the step one for the respected uh, factor load. So we need to multiply this respected value with 20 so which is equals to grade of the concrete again uh, we have to substitute the value of ac value here so here we are obtained the, the ac 0.99 times of ag so here i am substituting the value 0.99 times of ag plus 0.65 times of 415 why because we are already assumed that grade of the steel is 415 so multiplied by ac ac will be approximately equal to how much 0.01 ag value so here i am substituting the value so that it can get the value of ag is 153 uh 971.173 mm square okay so by calculating this respected value we can easily calculate the dimensions of the column okay by assuming the rectangular column section which is having the area is a into a which is equals to a square so here a square equals to this respected 153 971.173 mm square okay so by squaring the values so very equals to square root of 153 971.173 so that it can get the values a here okay which is approximately equal to 392.39 mm okay so by taking the value of 400 mm is the cross section let us assume just i am taking the higher value of dimensions of the column so that we can easily get the dimension size 400 across 400 for the respected column section okay so after calculating the dimensions we need to check that whether the e minimum value is greater than or not okay so by using this respected formula so we can easily calculate the values so l is the length of the uh, column section which is equals to 3500 divided by 500 plus 400 divided by 30 which is equals to 7 plus 13.33 which is equals to 20.33 value okay this respected 20.33 value is greater than 20 so hence it is safe as per the second point okay now the next step is calculation of area of the main steel AAC so we have to use the same formula which is related to the PU equals to 0.45 times of FCK into AC plus 0.67 times of Sigma 1 AAC okay so we have the formula which is related to the third one in the uh, basic formulas AG equals to AC plus AC so, so by substituting the formula here we can get the AC value. So AC equals to AG minus AC. Okay. So again, we have to substitute the values, which is related to the P equals to 1800 into 10 cube, which is equals to 0 0.45 times of 20 is the characteristic strength. Again, in the place of A S A C, we need to substitute the value of AG minus AC. Okay. AG minus AC plus 0 0.67 times of FY okay into AC. Okay. So 1800 into 10 cube, which is equals to 0 0.45 times of 20 into 15397 point uh, 1.173 this is the ag value which we are calculated already in the step number 2 so ag equals to here uh, 153971 uh, 173 mm square okay so we have to substitute the value which is minus of ac plus 0 0.65 times of 415 grade of the steel so multiplied by ac so from this calculation we can get the value of ac is 1539.711 mm square okay so this is the ac value so by taking the value which is approximately equal to 1540 mm square okay so we can get the value of ac here like this okay so after getting the value of ac now we have to assume the diameter of the bar so here as per my considerations and number of iterations so i am assuming that 16 mm diameter bar okay which is consisting of the one bar area is pi by 4 into 16 square which is approximately equal to 201 mm square okay so 201 is the mm square is the area which is required for the 16 mm diameter bar okay so we have the uh, ac value which is approximately equal to 1540 mm square and we have the one bar area which is equal to 201 mm square okay by dividing the ac value with one uh, diameter bar area we can get the number of the bars okay so the number of the bars equals to 1540 divided by 201 which is approximately equal to 7.661 Okay, so these are the number of the bus by taking the uh, eight number of the bus which is related to the 16 mm diameter is the main reinforcement bus uh, reinforcement for the column section which is consisting of 1200 kilonewton load. Okay, so this is the third step 
which is related to the calculation of area of main steel ace okay so now i will explain you how to calculate the uh, transverse reinforcement so this is the next step so in the transverse reinforcement we need to consider the three key points which is already discussed in the uh, key point section which is related to the transfer reinforcement of pitch okay so we need to consider least two values of this respected three condition one is related to the 16 times of diameter of the bar okay so 16 times of d where d is the minimum diameter of the bar so if you use the combination of 12 mm diameter or 16 mm diameter bar in the column design section so you can consider d as 12 mm here okay so as per our example just we are taking the eight number of the bars of 16 mm diameter so that's why just i am entering here value as 16 okay so which is equals to 256 mm okay the minimum lateral dimensions so the minimum lateral dimensions for the respective rectangular uh, sorry square column is approximately uh, 400 mm cross 400 mm the minimum value we need to use the same value will be obtained as length and width so that's why just i am taken here as 400 mm okay again 300 mm is the value this is the three points the least of this respective three conditions is first one which is related to the 256 mm so we need to use the center to center distance between the two ties is 256 mm okay so this is the step 4 again in the step 4 also we need to consider the diameter of the bar which is used in lateral ties okay so the diameter of the bars is also consisting of uh, basic key point section so which is of 0.25 times of d and 5 mm minimum okay so here in this case first one is 0.25 times of d where d is the diameter of the bar which we are using for the uh, column section which is approximately equal to 4 mm we can get by multiplying 0.25 with 16 so again the second one is 5 mm diameter okay so we need to consider the maximum diameter of the bar from this respected two equations okay so here i am assuming a higher than the 5 mm diameter bar so let us consider 6 mm diameter bar so final reinforcement we are used for the column section which is related to the 1200 section is eighth number of the 16 mm diameter bar are the main reinforcement section again we have to use the 6 mm diameter bar for the lateral ties which is consisting of 256 uh, center to center distance between the uh, lateral ties okay so this is the reinforcement diagram which we are using for the column design section which is consisting of the uh, front view again this is the top view for the column section reinforcement which is consisting of approximately the uh, cross section is 400 cross 400 grass area so for this respected 400 cross 400 cross section it is required eight number of the bars of 16 mm diameter for the main reinforcement section so these respected eight number of the bars are exist here like this again it will be consisting of lateral ties for the respected section here like this in the front view so which is related to the 6 mm diameter bar which is placed at a distance of 250 cent 6 center to center distance okay so this is the complete calculation part which is related to the uh, column reinforcement section design calculation for the rcc as per the is codal provision which is there uh, by using 456 2000 code okay so under this we need to consider the three formulas which is related to the e minimum pu and ag and these are the key points and these are the four steps which is involved in this respected calculation and this is the complete calculation part which is involved in the uh, column design section okay so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for the respected questions and please follow the complete calculation part in my website civilbasics123.com thank you